Welcome to IT Unlock 365, where IT is simple. Welcome back to IT Unlock 365. Today, I'm going to do a very short review on my experience with the uh, Coursera IBM Technical Support course. And as far as my understanding goes, it's a specialization with Coursera. Uh, so real quick, let's jump into this. Um, this is the IBM Technical Support course. Pretty much it's set up with the Coursera uh, standpoint as far as going through it by week by week. Um, we have week one through week six. First week is deals with operating systems. Uh, and the second week is going to be dealing with compute devices and peripherals. Third week is going to be dealing with interfaces and connectors. Week number four is going to be dealing with the internal computer components. Week five is going to be dealing with workstation evaluation, setup, and troubleshooting. And week number six is where you have your final quiz and a course wrap up from IBM. So on week one, it shows you here that we went over compute fundamentals, introduction to operating systems, features, functions, uh, the common compute devices and platforms, uh, learning how computers talk, evaluating uh, compute performance and storage. And then had a couple of quizzes here and one discussion prompt. So pretty much uh, week one goes over various topics such as the operating system, how to install it with the iOS, with the ISO uh, particular file. It doesn't get in depth with it, but it does tell you exactly how you would go and install an operating system on a computer. It goes over some management tools, uh, such as Task Manager dealing with Windows operating system. It even goes, it kind of shocked me a little bit because it went in and showed you how to uh, change the virtual memory. It gave you an understanding of what the RAM is and what a virtual memory is and uh, what you would need to do in case your PC is moving slowly. It also talks about driver updates. Um, it shows you exactly where to go to do driver updates. It goes over the Windows Device Manager as well as the MSC. Um, it gives you a little bit on it. It doesn't get too in-depth. And also it gives you some other topics like we talked about before. Um, so it was a little shocking to start off with a lot of these things. It kind of introduces you to different um, parts of the Windows operating system, more so from the Windows 10 um, operating system standpoint. This course goes through the basic instructions such as uh, it goes over the file explorer, you know, how to open it, how to change some different view settings in File Explorer, how to open up the hidden files, um, how to get to that particular option as well. So that was pretty good. Um, it also goes over your story settings, shows you how to get to your disk management. Uh, it introduces this part, um, how to get that from the command prompt screen. So that was pretty neat. Um, also, it deals with um, your storage, how to change certain storage settings um, in Windows 10. It also went over the device credential, such as your credential manager on your Windows 10 device, it shows you how to get to it, shows you how to make some changes in it. It doesn't take a very long time to show you, kind of like a little bootcamp type feel uh, to this course. But for the most part, it's pretty okay. I was very surprised um, in the first week it went over um, for a very short minute, uh, short amount of time, it went over different ports. Um, those of you who have taken the CompTIA A Plus and the Network Plus, you know that there are different port numbers uh, for different things. So this particular course kind of introduces you to the TCP, UDP, HTTP, you know, which is port number uh, 80. It also introduces the IRC, which is a little older, but um, I was very surprised that it they actually introduced that in week one. So that was pretty good. 
It's a pretty basic course compared to the Google IT support course. This one is like a kindergarten course, um, but it gets the job done from what I see in week one. I would know a lot more um, tomorrow when I go through week two and week three. I'll try to finish this course up, like I said, in the next 48 hours and then um, pretty much give you an overview of what you should be looking for in this course. And if this course is going to be a good course for you, um, depending on what you're trying to do. So other than that, uh, I got through week one and uh, pretty much that what it is. So uh, look forward to doing another video on week two and week three, and then I'm going to do week four, five and six video and uh, pretty much give you the conclusion of my review on this particular course. Um, until then, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Definitely, uh, I'm going to be doing some more live videos in the near future as I prepare for the Cisco CTNA 301. So definitely check out those videos and hit me up on LinkedIn. So until then, you guys have a blessed Thursday. Go and enjoy yourself, enjoy your family, and keep studying.